in this topic we will discuss about second type of projection is called the perspective projection in the parallel projection as i told you the parallel projection is the projectors are parallelly to the view plane and that time your cop set of projections are lies on the infinite place but here perspective projections are cop is in the finite distance here cop is here now you can see cop is here your eyes man eyes or you can say any device you can say the cop from where you want to see okay this is the center of projection is the finite distance from the object or your view plane so here this is object a and b and this is view plane now you can understand here if that cop is far from the object of view plane then your object in the view plane size is small but this center of projection is coming near to your object then your object size will be increased in the view plane okay so this is just similar as your human eye what your human eye will be feel after seeing any object from far or from near the same thing will be coming on the perspective projections also that's why this perspective of uh, projection is also called the realistic projection okay so here we can now we have to understand about the transformation matrix of perspective projection okay so here center of projections are there center of projection coordinates x c y c and z c point of objects are x y and z so according to these we have three equations are there x2 is equal to x c plus x1 minus x c u y2 is equal to y c plus y1 minus y c u and z z2 is equal to z c plus z1 minus z c u okay so these three equations are there now again 3d object is coming on the 2d object then again we have to talk about two dimensional plane it means z value will be dip on zero part okay so z value again we have to put z value in the equation number three then we can find out u value and u value you have to put on the equation one and two so after putting u value in the equation 1 and 2 you can find out the value of x2 and y2 now you can see x2 and y2 you have the values after this equation you can make the matrix and matrix are like this okay so this is called the transformation matrix of perspective projections now we are coming on the types of the perspective projection but before that i have to tell you about one more topic is called the vanishing point what do you mean by the vanishing point vanishing point is nothing just it is also called the fanning fanning means let's take an example before uh, giving you definition when you are seeing the railway track both tracks are just parallel to each other but after some condition you have to see far away then you can feel like the parallel lines are meeting with each other and at the one point they are just similar so that point where you can see the both parallel lines are meeting with each other at one point that point is called the fanning or vanish point okay so this is called the vanishing point and this feature is called the perspective foreshortening okay this feature is called the perspective foreshortening any set of lines are parallel to any principal axis called the principal vanishing point or axis vanishing point these vanishing points are three first one is one point projection two point projection and three point projection simply simple things are there one point projection are there one vanishing point are there second two vanishing point are there third three vanishing point are there so how can we find out what are the one point uh, projection or 
वन पॉइंट वैनिशिंग पॉइंट और सिंगल पॉइंट वैनिशिंग पॉइंट सो वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस थिंग सो फर्स्ट सिंगल पॉइंट परस्पेक्टिव projection okay so here you can see above first we have to talk about the x axis okay if we are seeing one object and in the x axis we can see the vanishing point is coming then how you can calculate this one so if you are talking about the single point perspective transformation that means one point perspective projection occurs when only one principal axis intersect the plane of projection okay so there are three types of single point projection transformation first one is x axis second one is y axis and third one is z axis so here when projectors are located at x axis then your x axis projection point is p okay so diff uh, matrix are coming like this and after multiplication matrix are coming like this this matrix you can written like this also just what you have to do you have to just divide all points by px plus 1 then you can write like this x divided by px plus 1 y divided by px plus 1 z divided by px plus 1 and 1 so this is the matrix of one point projection in the x axis in this condition center of projections are like this minus 1 by q 0 0 1 and vanishing point located as 1 by p sorry here one mistake are coming minus 1 by p 0 0 1 okay and vanishing point located as x axis is this similarly same thing we have to go for the y axis in the y axis you can see in the y axis y value will be q here after multiplication this value will be coming or you can write this value you have to divide in the all part this matrix will be coming after this matrix you can find out the center of projections are this and vanishing point of this same thing you have to do for the z axis also in the z axis same thing in the z axis the uh, projection factors are r will be coming here after multiplication this matrix will be coming in this matrix you can write this also how just this value you have to divide in all axes then you can find this thing after this thing you can find out your center of projection is 0 0 minus 1 by r1 and vanishing point are this okay so this is called the single point perspective transformation or you can say single point perspective projection and this projections are three type x axis y axis and z axis now second type of projection perspective projection is two point perspective project transformation before this start i want to tell you about from the diagrams also now you can see if you are talking about the x axis then the x axis vanishing point like this vanishing point like this for example okay so in the x axis if you are saying then vanishing point are this y axis vanishing point are this z axis vanishing point are this so this one point vanishing point from this point you can see all the axis are going in one point so this is called the vanishing point so one vanishing point are in the x axis y axis and z axis now we are coming on the two point okay two point perspective where in one point from here here one object will be like this and from here you can see okay my pen from this direction you can see so these two lines these two lines are going to parallel with each other but one point that will be meeting not exactly meeting not in the real meeting but you can feel from here that these two parallel lines are meeting in one place so these two points are called the two point perspective transformation so for this you have to make one matrix x dash y dash z dash 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 p q 0 1 p and q two points are coming first one is x and second one is y now you have to multiply by by this you have to divide by these all three new coordinates are new matrix are there from this you can find out the center of projections and center of oh sorry center uh, vanishing points so 
in the two perspective transformation you can see two center of projection for the x-axis and y-axis and vanishing point two are there x-axis and y-axis this two point perspective transformation are equal to the two successive single two successive single point perspective are additive same thing you can check it okay the same in coming on the three point perspective transformation three point perspective transformation in one angle you want to see that three perspective point you can see so this is called the three point perspective the same the p for the x q for the y and r is for the z both multiplication are this this value divide in all three then this matrix will be coming then three center of projection and three vanishing point are there so three vanishing uh, three center of projection for x axis y axis z axis three vanishing point x y and z and same for the three projection also the three point perspective transformation can also be obtained by concatenation of three single point perspective transformation as i told you for the two the two point perspective trans transformation can also be obtained by concatenation of two single point perspective transformation so this is the last topic of your projection okay hope you understand about the projection types of the projection and the subcategories of the types of the projections thank you so much